entrance. Let's see if it comes out. The better it is, the better me is myself, right?
You cut in the way of Mama's video. Yes, you did. You cut in the way of Mama's video. <laughs> That's you. What are you doing, Omar? What are you burying your head in the, the, the thing for? What are you doing? been almost two weeks. Some men are still surviving. To entertain myself. I just created this couple of videos to entertain myself. I was remembering what I used to say. I forget if, when I said it. I don't know if I said it on of these videos, if I said it on Alicia's World, my news Alicia's World. But it's true. The fact that we're here means anything's possible, both good and bad. This world could be anything at all, and instead it's fucking crap. I don't know if I said that on my Alicia's World news. Because remember, I wrote and wrote and wrote on my Alicia's World News. And Roland, my college boyfriend, unbeknownst to me, was saving it. I wish somebody unbeknownst to me had saved my 1,500 absolutely nutty messages I sent to Nickelback's MySpace page back in 2009 and 10. I wouldn't mind seeing those again. I think that would be hysterical. Remember, I have like 500 of them somewhere. On some kind of disc somewhere, I have like 500. Um, who knows where? Some of you know that story. The hacker got me. Donald was stealing internet and the hacker 
somehow. I don't know how it worked. The hacker, probably the same person who actually called there, called, called and talked to Hope How. Told her I was talking about her and her son out on YouTube. How? How did they get the phone number? I don't know. How did they hack my shit? I don't know. All I know is that I was doing everything on the down low secret. And I had to... Be. What happened was, when I realized I was hacked, and I wish I'd known this at the time, but of course I didn't, my hotmail got hacked, but I could have contacted them and got everything back. Thousands of messages where my whole hotmail was destroyed. And I'm like, they're going to go to my MySpace next. So I forced myself to stay awake and copy and paste. Because remember, all the messages that I had sent to Nickelback's MySpace, I also put them in my own blog of MySpace. Saved them. I didn't save them via send because it didn't work that way. MySpace didn't save all your sent messages forever. I protected them by putting them in my own blog. And, um, but there was just, um, there were too many. There were 1,500 at that point. And I was exhausted. I couldn't leave the computer open. Had I left the, 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 the person can't hack me while I'm logged on. So if I left the computer open, Donald, and I'm just taking a nap because I'm exhausted. I did 500 of them. Donald would have, um, <clears throat> Donald might have caught me. We didn't want Donald to catch me with the MySpace or whatever, so I closed it down. Knowing, because I just couldn't stay awake anymore, you know, when you just, you can't keep your eyes open. Took a brief nap on the couch, woke up, and my whole MySpace, the hacker had, hadn't, hadn't just, like he did with my YouTube channels, Alicia Earl 1, Alicia Creature, that YouTube, I, I filed a paper, paperwork online, file, and YouTube gave me my channels back. They figured out, they believed me, I'd been hacked, but... When I got... I knew, but I couldn't stay awake. What am I supposed to do? I can't risk Donald finding that on his downstairs computer. Remember, all the computers were his. I was just using the downstairs one. I couldn't leave it open. He goes on the downstairs one sometimes. I couldn't risk it. And I was exhausted. I did 500 of them. It took me a long time. Copy paste 500 messages. And I just... Ow. I couldn't get... And I knew. I'm like, I'm going to wake up and it's going to be gone. But what they did, they didn't just take... They didn't just close out my MySpace. Because you can actually get MySpace back. No. They went in and methodically took the time to delete each message gleefully, evilly, one at a time the messages, deleted them all. So, and that was the end of that. But I did save 500 of them. I don't know if I saved the first 500 I sent or the last 500. But I saved 500 of them. <laughs> and I couldn't stay awake any longer. I just couldn't do it. But as for my, uh, my, um, Alicia's World News, that amounted to 350 typed pages. The only reason I got that is because I was still friends with my college boyfriend. I had shared my Alicia's World with him. Um, and at some point, he wrote to me. And he said, you know, I have your, your, all your news. I'm like, what? How is that possible? He's like, because I heard uh, you wrote before that you want, wished you had saved it. Well, I went and saved it. And he sent it to me as a zip file. And even though it was a zip file, I wanted to see it. I wanted to open it. I, I didn't feel even safe with it as a zip file or whatever. It's good that I did it, because later I think that was one of the ones I lost when I was in that shelter. Well, I think my 
and at least World News was on one of those. That, I'm not positive it was, but it didn't matter because I have it all printed out. It's in there somewhere. It's all mixed up. But remember, they're all dated. You can put them all together, and it amounted to 350 typed pages. And I don't know if that wasn't all of it, because Roland stopped doing it when I moved to L.A. But to be with the asshole who I falsely believed was my long-awaited by me soulmate. He even said it when we were taking the bath in the Econo Lodge that next day or whatever. Oh, no, no. I, he said something to me, but that first night in the dark hotel room when he came up behind me. He, he's like, you're my friggin' mate. It's all a lie. All a fucking lie. All a lie. How did I get this back? I already told you. I have an iron will of steel when it comes to that. And I know the better I look, the better chance I have of getting the kind of guy I want into my bed. See? It's not rocket science. That ain't rocket science, baby. No, sorry. Anyway one point, I think I wrote it on the news, or I, I said it on video or something, but it, it's just common sense. The fact that we are here means that anything is possible, good or bad. The fact that we exist at all. This world could be anything, and instead it's fucking crap. news or I said it on video but I said it at some point. It's true. This world could be anything. The fact that we exist means this world could be anything and said it's fucking crap. It's getting worse and worse and worse. It's unreal. Mind blowing to me. Mind blowing. Mind blowing on He wants to go out there. I don't have one of the. I don't have. You know what I mean? I can't open the door. Mama can't open the door, Omar. She can't open the door unless she gets up on that walker. She can't get up on the walker because you will bump into her leg or do. You can't be. You're not predictable. I wish I had this long thing. I bet there is something you can buy, a long thing that picks up, probably the same thing that picks up stuff, you know, you know, or reaches for stuff, could open that doorknob from here, but I can't, so. I have to go to the bathroom, which means he... Yeah, maybe that's part of the age of Aquarius. The part of people waking up, as Joe put it, more and more people waking up. This world could be anything at all. The fact that we're here means this world could be anything at all, and instead it's fucking crap. Why is that? Well, Joe says it's because we are Anunnaki, aliens, extraterrestrial lizard people are running the show. Hmm. All right, well, if there's extraterrestrial lizard people running the show and there's nothing I can do about any of that, then just let me have some 
like-minded people. Let me have some fun and some sex and whatever, you know. Nothing I could do about any of that. I don't want to sit here and not be able to do anything about that and be all the fuck alone. See? That's not rocket science either. Because that's very established. You can't... There's no third choice. You either live or you commit suicide. You know what I mean? Or, you know, you... But there's no choosing to have never existed in the first place. See? That's not an option. As much as I've often throughout my life wished it was an option. It's not a fucking option, okay? Not an option, so. We always go back to the same thing with me. And all this stuff that Joe believes doesn't bother him at all, doesn't scare me. He's like, I want to know it all. I want to know everything going on in this world. And, oh yeah. I can't say the things he believes because I don't, that my channel's not for, you know, that's not what I'm about, but there's MK Ultra mind control, there's things Joe believes about even, and other people believe, all kinds of shit, all kinds of fucking shit, even involving, you know, people I call the elite who, you know, whatever. The chosen ones, the whatever. The ones that got to have that which I've always wanted that has always eluded me. But anyway, Joe could say X, Y, and Z and people could believe X, Y, and Z and it's just too much. If it's all true, then it's all true. Okay? But the fact is, it's only a small percentage versus all the other people if they woke up you know they overpower all the small percentage of whatever weird ass diabolical demonic Anunnaki controlled people see he's gonna go to the bathroom it's not his fault I could just reach over and put his poo-poo in with my waist in the, that bucket, right? It's okay, honey. I know you have to go to the bathroom. I wouldn't have been able to get up in time anyway. But I would have, he would have just gone on the chair, you know what I mean? It is what it is. There's no difference. I wouldn't have been able to get him up and I'd, I have to go to the bathroom. I'd have to come back. He would have gone before I could get him out the door. And he won't go when I put him out the door anyway. The most of the, the only thing he'll do is pee. Move. I was gonna pick that up and put it in the bucket over there. She'll add it. So it's already in there. Move. Move. Move, Omar.
mean? Alright. He's safe. He never jumps off that chair anyway, but if he does, he'll, he'll, oh, he won't hit anything. There's nothing for him to hit. He goes that way. There's clothes. This way. There's rug, rug, rug. He's fine. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm aware of all kinds of shit, people. I'm aware of shit I'm sure a lot of people are not aware of. Joe makes sure I'm aware of everything. First thing he told me about was friggin' recent terrorist attack in Manchester, England. And it really hit him hard. He says, because he just imagines these teenagers, because there were 20 girls blown up when they got out of the area. Right out, and she, he just imagines them. They're all excited about going to see Ariana Grande at a concert and get all dressed up and makeup and set or whatever, and then they get blown to pieces. You know? Joe says that really hit him hard. And then he tries to tell people that he works with and they try to make it into political or whatnot. They're, they're anti-Trump, so they can't just see the bigger picture of these 20, you know, girls blown up in a terrorist attack. I don't know how many more were injured, but you know what I mean? People are not seeing the bigger picture when they just get into politics or, you know... Joe said that really hit him hard. He was very upset. Really, really upset. Sad, or people are such blinders on that you know they're anti they're anti Trump, so they associate Trump with with you know with okay, the thing with 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 the Muslims or this that or whatever. But it's not all. It's that's a separate thing. It's not. All, it's a certain fraction, you know? It's it's the, the terrorist one, but it's also... I don't know, I'm not even going to get into... You know, it's, there are people who believe that, that are, you know... That it's not as cut and dry as you might think. Is it just being, okay, the terrorists are doing it or whatnot. That there's people running the show behind the scenes. But then again... Joe and others believe it's it's extraterrestrial aliens running the show. So how the hell are we supposed to win against that? So I go back to the same thing. Like Prince says, 2000 party over with, out of time tonight. I'm going to party like it's 1999. You know? all doomed, then let me find some people who get it, who are like-minded, and who I can have various forms of fun with, with whom I can have various forms of fun. Uh, we're all doomed anyway. I'd rather be doomed and not be all alone.
this numerous times. It's worth repeating. I am way more terrified of what can happen to me while I'm still alive in this body than I am of dying. Okay? This world is fucked, and it's only getting worse and worse and worse, and it could be anything at all. The fact that we're here means this world could be anything at all, and instead it's pure fucking crap. Why is that? Oh, I have some ideas. I have ideas. everyone cared and nobody cried, if everyone loved and nobody lied, if everyone shared and swallowed their pride. I experienced people hating me even online when I've done nothing to you, nothing. You just hate me because you hate me. So there's a reason right there. Multiply that by whatever why this world's fucking crap. You got your answer, babies. You got your fucking answer right there. answer right there. Even with you know who talking about constantly talking about killing me. Why? What did I ever do to you? Bother you with my existence. Well there's your answer why this fucking world is crap, Stoney. It's only getting worse. Only gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. All <laughs> well, these true monsters in this world, and you call me a monster? Oh my god. Unreal. Unbelievable, actually.
can't even get up for very long now because that church woman, she meant well. And she didn't want me to go on my ass on the, why not? That's what I wanted to do. She had me hop. Up on the, and I knew it wasn't what I should be doing. Too, and the cast is that extra weight besides all my body weight. I don't know why she had to have me do that. Some fucking hell, that's why. And it's gotten progressively worse. Now I can barely stay up for any length of time. First, that's killing me. Fine when I'm in bed, but I have to get up to the bathroom and to eat, right? And to feed him. And I see that awesome and tell him what happened. I'm not going to say anything to her. I'm so grateful that she's taking me, you know? And she didn't mean it. It was just like if she accidentally, I don't know, knocked me down or something when it was her. It's an accident. She didn't mean it, but she did cause me to damage my friggin' leg more. I can feel it. I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna say what happened. I'm gonna say, you know, she was being so kind to me that I, I did what she said. I hopped up that first step and that was not smart. She's like, you can just hop, I'll hold you. I knew I shouldn't do it. That's my problem. If someone insists on something, I do it. I don't want to upset them. But in the meantime, I knew better. I knew I shouldn't do it. And the minute I did it, I regretted it. It's too high up. It's me hopping on one foot this much of a length. And, and I'm sure she's holding me so I don't topple over. But she's not preventing all that, weight, my weight and the, everything going boom on that step with all my weight like that. It's the only way to hop up. You know what I mean? I felt it right through my knee. It probably tore something. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to say, can you x-ray my knee too? Um, this woman made me do this and I didn't want to say no because she was being so nice to me. She was the only reason I got to my primary care physician to be set up for the mass health PT1. And she took me to my appointment today just in case the mass health PT1 didn't go through in time. We switched appointments. But she shouldn't have had me do that. Hop like that. It's like hopping up a step. You know what I mean? In order to do it and not to miss my step, I had to really go boom. And I knew I shouldn't have done that. And I felt it reverberate through this entire leg. I bet I tore something. But they can probably... You know, if they take me out of this cast and put me in the boot, then they can probably wrap and maybe do something about the torn whatever. And so if it's torn, what if they just have you ice it? Then they can't do anything, it just has to heal on its own. I'm going to have them x-ray the whole, the whole upper leg. I'm going to tell them what happened. That she didn't mean it, she meant well. She just thought, why can't you just hop? Because it's this much distance, Jan, Jan and, and, 
It's going to go pound, pound. I knew I could do it. I'll hold you. It'll be fine. You're not holding me. So I go down gently, though. You're not strong enough. You're not some big, strong guy. You're just a little woman smaller than me. Her holding me would only prevent me from toppling over, I understand. But it doesn't prevent my whole body from slamming down on that step, and that's exactly what happened. I'm like, I'm not doing this. But it, it, the damage was already done. And now I can't get up for any length of time. It's because I just have to eat something quick. Quickly, you know, get it together, whatever I can get together fast, and get in here quickly. That's why I have to do my Vitacost water. I can order Orgain shakes or Vitacost. I can order, you know what I mean? That's a quick thing to grab. something's torn, they generally, I think they have you ice it, right? I can't ice it because I can't have the liquid going down in my cast, you see? So, I'll talk to them. I'll tell them what she had me do. She just thought, why do you want to scoot up those steps, the wet, it rained on you, you know? Because what you're proposing, I don't like the idea of it. And I'm like, I can't do it. And then I did it, and I regretted it. I felt it. it ever since and it's just getting worse. Isn't that a brilliant idea? I stood by the door. I figured someone's going to go by at some point and I can shout to them. There were people working on the lawn across the street and I just, I shouted to them, like, can you get the person home who I know and, and tell, are they home? Can you tell them, please, I need this mail because my, the lawn is turning into a nightmare horror show. Kind of like my hair. My hair is turning into a nightmare horror show of grease. What can I do about it? Nothing. I can't do anything about my hair, you understand? There's nothing I can do about my hair. I cannot do anything about my hair. I have no help. Angel's mama told me that she had cast on whatever. She actually took a shower. Yeah, she had. I said, and you had someone help you. Can't get in the shower when you have a cast on unless you have help. So, the worst things in this life than greasy hair. I can sponge bath, you know what I mean? The best I can do, but I cannot do my hair, period. So. It's okay, mama's coming to get you. Mama's coming to get the pug, 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 the you know what I mean? And my vitamins, and that was it. And, okay, come on. But I don't hurt. 
when I'm lying down. It's okay, come on. It's alright, baby. It's alright. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, you. It's alright, I love you. Alright. Alright, I'm going to go to bed. Come on. Come on, baby. There you go. Okay. No. You should be sleeping. I wish I hadn't set it up. I would have knocked you out better if you could sleep. Unfortunately, it's not. I did get out there pretty clean though. If anyone just came by here, just to come by. Not that it's gonna, you know. Just spy. Come on, you can't go down down there. But they, it's pretty clean. I did a load of dishes yesterday. The counter is a little dirty, but everything else is clean. Um. <sighs> You weren't in there that long, honey. If you go to sleep, when I have to get up and pee again, I I might go in the pocket. Um, depends. I put this on just to wear something different for the video, but it's not this thing's on that way. As comfortable as what I was wearing.